Choosing a compressor can be overwhelming with so many choices on the market today, but really it comes down to two simple questions. What job do you need to do and what tools are you using? And then once you know that, you'll want to consider three specifications of a compressor. There's tank size, PSI, and airflow. Now, compressors come in multiple sizes. There's everything from one gallon to 60 gallons or even more. And the gallon size simply tells you how much air the compressor can store. So larger tanks can run more tools or run them for longer periods of time. Now, the other important factor is PSI or pounds per square inch. PSI tells you how much pressure or how compressed the air is inside the tank. So while the gallon size of the tank tells you how much air the compressor can hold, that same size tank with a higher PSI means even more air is stored in the tank. It's like packing more cotton balls in a jar. Now tank size plus PSI equals tool run time. So the bigger the tank and the higher the PSI, the longer the compressor can run your tools. Now every air tool has a recommended PSI, how much force or compressed air is required to operate the tool for a specific job. So a nailer that's shooting nails into lumber will need less pressure or a lower PSI than if it's piercing steel beams or concrete. Check your air tool for the PSI required. The other important consideration is airflow, which is measured in standard cubic feet per minute, or SCFM. The speed the pump can refill the tank, plus the amount of air stored in the tank, combined to create the airflow, or CFM, that comes out of the tank and can power a tool. So a higher SCFM means faster airflow into and out of the tank. You may have heard that horsepower is an important consideration in choosing a compressor. Horsepower tells you how powerful the motor is in powering the pump, but what really matters is how much airflow is being pumped into the tank. So the more important number is SCFM. Mm -hmm.